Hello everyone and welcome back to Roleplay Mirror Shades. I have no idea what week it is because it's been... 23. 23. It's Wait, 23. Only 23? I think so. That's not that long. I was going to say that sounds like a lot. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's like half a, half a year? How many weeks is it? I mean, it's, it's not 52. a lot, but it's not too yeah. little. I yeah. agree with Caitlin, yeah. <laughs> I think it's... No, I actually think it's a lot. <laughs> oh. We've done this 23 know. times. Yeah. Almost. Didn't we start no. back in like Jan we started in January, right? January. Yeah. It's been nine months. I mean, oh we missed God. too many fucking weeks, is what I'm saying. Like, we should have. We made a shadow <laughs> run, baby, though. <laughs> we should have. We should have been in like the 30s by now. But people are traveling. We're just missing weeks. It's fucked yep. up, man. It's fucked up. What do you mean it's fucked up? It's you fucked had a great up. time at PAX. I had a great time at PAX, but we could have been making myself money. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying, Dodger. You just got back from Atlanta, but I don't want to talk to you about that because I want to talk to you about Party Hard because you were playing it today. Oh my god, fuck that game. Is that oh that's not good? No, it's great. <laughs> oh, it's great. <laughs> but I, I'm saying fuck that game in the way that you would say fuck that game after playing like Hotline Miami, where you're just oh. like, ah, it's so frustrating. It um it has Twitch integration. So you can set it up uh where the people in your Twitch chat can type different numbers to vote for events to happen. Uh huh. Like different party goers to show up or like the police. There's a whole car of go go girls that'll show up sometimes. There's like an entire carnival's worth of people. And you have to murder everybody in order to beat the level. So if they're voting for something that brings a shit ton of people your way, then you're like, fuck, now I have to kill like 20 extra people. <laughs> huh. But there are also things like bears. They can vote to bring a bear and the bear will just show up and randomly start murdering people. And you're like, so yeah, helps bear. Yeah, yeah, so it helps you, you out. As long as um, it took me a while to realize you can just like murder somebody and walk away as long as nobody sees you. But if you happen to be around a dead body when the police show up they'll be like oh it was definitely that guy so, what if the bear sees you uh the bear does not care <laughs> the bear just chills he'll like go sleep sometimes it's Aww. it's fun but yeah it's very difficult it is huh. very difficult Did you game. Beat i it? do no there's like uh eight levels seven or eight levels and i beat the first Two, I almost beat the third, and then I fucked up at the very end with, like, three people left to murder. I was so upset with myself. But I think out of the three levels that I did, I think the first level was the hardest. It was, like, by far the hardest, I felt. So, I don't know. Maybe it's trial by fire style. Yeah. I have... They've sent, like, 300 codes since... What? Like, when you get on those PAX email chains, right? Like, when you sign up through no. media, are you on those? No. Nah. not on those? Nope. When you sign up through media... <laughs> Basically, your email becomes a service for them to just spam the fuck out of you. Ah, gotcha. And so you wake up to like 20 or 30 emails every day and about With 400 four, codes, about four or five of those like almost a good trade. every yeah, other day. So it was hard. just like, here's some party heart. Hey, you should play. Have you heard of party? You should really play our party. Heart. <laughs> like, that's what it was almost every single day. Uh, so that's I fun. have a shit ton of codes somewhere in my inbox that I you're just haven't used. The idea of the game, for those of you who don't know who are watching right now, is you're a psychopath who wakes up in the middle of the night and you're like, I just want some peace and quiet. I just want to sleep. And so you decide, really, the only way I'm going to get some sleep is if I murder everyone at the party yeah. next door. That doesn't sound like psychopathy to me. That sounds like pretty normal feels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the acting on it. In fact, it doesn't yeah. often even take a large party for me to just want to murder everyone in the room. But you yeah. don't do it, Adam. It's exactly. the big difference. Saying. It's the big difference between you and our hero, which the game constantly calls you the hero of the game, which I think is kind of hilarious. <laughs> nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you were in Atlanta for Dragon Con. Did you do anything at Dragon? Dragon Con? Like, what do you do at Dragon Con? Do you just walk so around? So I didn't realize Dragon Con is set up to basically be a convention for anything. It's really. <laughs> incredible it's not they don't show off dragons it's no they don't show off dragons okay. although if you go to artist alley lots of people have like beautiful paintings of dragons so artist that alley. was exciting mm. okay. but uh it was different from any convention i've ever been to because it's set up where and i i think if if you go you absolutely have to get the app because the app is really well designed and it sort of helps your brain understand how the convention is run basically like anything that you could possibly be interested in is on a separate track so like say that i'm 
showing up to Dragon Con and I'm really into Star Trek. There's an entire category of Star Trek panels. So I can just be on the Star Trek track. So is it just and, a bunch of panels? Is that the con? Besides No, I mean I mean it it's in like four different hotels at the same time. So oh, there's wow. like there's like hundreds of panels all happening at the same time. There's multiple rooms that are just board games, just card games, there's tournaments, there's all sorts of stuff. But then but it 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 covers more things than you would initially think. Like we were looking through the what's on now panel thing on the app. And yeah. it was like, you want to find out about the history of tanks? It's on the war track if you're super into wartime <laughs> history. And then uh, Jesse and I went to multiple paranormal panels. I heard I saw you talking about track. that on the panel that you did. but Yeah, so it's, it's really, really interesting the way that it's set up. It's kind of a, if you like stuff, if you're a nerd about something, you will find other people who are super into it. And uh, maybe like 50% of the people there are cosplaying, which is also very bizarre to me. Like everyone cosplays at this shit. It's nuts. It's really, best, really cool though. What was the best one you saw? The best cosplay? Best cosplay I saw? Uh, was that a dragon? <laughs> probably. It was probably a dragon, GP. <laughs> Should be. I, honest, I honestly can't remember what the best one I saw was. Well, but if I go. think of it, I'll butt in. Just, just burst, no matter what the yeah. conversation. If we're two hours in, <laughs> yeah. someone's I'm like about, about to, die. to die. And I'll be like, oh, I remember now. Yep, just blurt Got it out. Got it. Just blurt mm -hmm. it out. There you go. Uh, Adam, you finished yesterday when did you finish today i mean Sh today shadow run ki kind of finished i finished all the actual gameplay on the uh on friday and then i i finished it finished it today so you just watched a cutscene today i talked to six npcs took me like 25 <laughs> minutes Christ. and then i finished it and then i played uh I, I was intending to just do the rest of the stream and finish this game but it took me an extra hour and i couldn't stop because it was so weird i played uh kentucky route zero i've heard that game is really good it is so good. Yeah. The the aesthetic is fantastic. You have to appreciate surrealism, like yeah. well done surrealism, not just like bonkers, like adult swim. Here's a <laughs> talking meat kind of surrealism. Right. Like it, it's really good. And it's such a huge bummer that it's only three of the five acts are finished, but I guess they'll finish it eventually. They don't have a release time for that? Yeah. Oh. Apparently it got more complicated than they had originally <laughs> planned. and It always does. Know. But the first three acts were really good. Um, also, while while we were doing this, I did some math. Um, we've done 2.875 episodes per month of Mirror Shades on average. That's pretty and good. We, and we've only done 2.214 episodes of Swan Song over the same period of time. Yeah. Uh, averaged out. So technically, Mirror Shades is doing better despite being on a lower number of episodes. But you um, know who like the best one was? What? It was Vigil. <laughs> That's true. We could have done Vigil every week. <laughs> There was never a schedule <laughs> issue with Vigil, ever. Except for me wanting to DM and also broadcast the show. So Only so. like the first start of roleplay, like the very start, yeah. was more consistent than Vigil. Yeah. Someone <laughs> worked it out. I, I forgot who it was. They said that uh, I've done, if my hours are to be oh, yeah. correct, that I've done 70.2 days of roleplaying. That's yep. pretty awesome. Yeah, that came, that came up with the panel, right? At yeah. Pass. Yeah, yeah. our our panel on Monday 70, at PAX or whatever. Seventy point two days. That's too long. That's too it's long. That's hella role play. So what's up next on the Adam stream? Um, probably Ark the rest of the week. Probably just gonna dick around with uh, stripping in them. Yeah. 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 Probably do that. I, I got all your dodos through. died, Dodger. I tried to play Ark today so that I could see what was up with my dodos, and it crashed my computer. <laughs> it was so sad. It's okay. I get to build a new one. But I thought maybe they had all died from that tweet. I was really sad. <laughs> no, okay, so I think, and I don't know this for sure. I still have to sign in. I think somebody came and, like, leveled my base and killed it, all my dodos. And then I think Sam and Gmart just, like, slapdick worked really hard to make it look like nothing happened and rebuilt the whole thing. <laughs> I'm like almost when positive. <laughs> like when you're a kid and your like cat dies and someone buys you, your parents buy you a cat that looks kind of the no, same. No, people do that with goldfish, no, not cats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it's totally with the Mr. Cat. Fluffy. It's fine. I'm almost positive that that's what's happened because mm. I was getting so many tweets being like, all oh, your dodos are dead. Everything's ruined. Oh my God, where are you? What's happening? And I was like, no. And then I started getting multiple tweets from 
Gmart and Sam saying, it's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing happened. It's fine. Look, here's a screenshot. Everything's totally mm -hmm. fine. Look at all yeah. those beautiful dodos. Everything's <laughs> totally fine. And I was like, <sighs> interesting. <so> <laughs> oh, no. Interesting. Well, Adam will investigate and we'll figure it out in <laughs> yeah. three weeks or whenever we play after this. Because Wheat's been busy with TwitchCon. Look at that segue, yeah. folks. And he's also he's sick. sick. I'm him. sick, so I'm not going to say much. So, yeah. What are you sick with? What is this from PAX? Where did you get this from? I don't from? know, man. I don't know. Because, like, I was fine yesterday when I started going to sleep last night. I started feeling not right. Do you have and a disease that's going to turn you into a ghoul? Are you going to be a I'm ghoul not in the next right. episode? No, patient zero ghoul. I hope not. <laughs> is it just a no, cold? I, just, I don't know. Throat. Okay. And Jesus. chest, you're, and you're gonna get everyone sick. Tired. Man. That sucks. That's <clears throat> yeah, true. considering that I can't really like miss days in the office. Yeah. To, so <laughs> you fuck all you guys. Too. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. All right, short and sweet. Caitlin, what it, what color is your lipstick? What is that actual color of lipstick called? Oh, dude, I only got some neon. This is like one dollar lipstick. Yeah, but what's it called? It's not. A, it's, it's not expensive enough to have a name, JP. It's called one dollar blue. <laughs> it doesn't even have a name of the no, color. man. No, there's nothing. This you just get the color, man. You just reach into the bin and you get the color. What the? F I thought all colors. I thought all lipstick colors. Yeah, when they cost blue. more than a dollar. What's the price point <laughs> for them to get a like? Why aren't all lipsticks created equally? Like, where where is the money? different for a name i don't know maybe like five dollars five dollars like, you get a name as a lipstick. And five dollars you get blue fever but for right now yeah, you're one dollar blue yeah this lip shop has a name this well burt's bees i mean burt's bees is a solid product i have burt's bees somewhere yeah. i don't know where it's at though <laughs> your lipstick has a name its yeah. name is robert yeah. paulson that'd be great <laughs> it'd be like a brown see look at that it's burt bees it's fantastic I, we just lost all. <laughs> well, that See you later, happen? overlay. Birds, bees. <laughs> Take it over the show. You're out of control. I don't even know how that. Ha it must have exactly hit the keyboard to make <laughs> it that it go super small. That was insane. Uh, Karen, what else have you been up to besides buying lipsticks w without a name? <sighs> Starcraft. Yeah. Is like, did they do anything else with Legacy of the Void yet? I don't know. They removed Injax for Zerg, and I find it really boring, so I don't play Legacy of the Void right now, because Zerg without Injax. But they don't have Injax? Yeah, I beat, like, a bunch of pro players. Like, I mean, people that I could do well against, but I absolutely obliterated them, because that's the state of, so, like, the racial balance right now. They just took the macro thing out for Zerg? Why would they do that? They automated it. So now queens just do it automatically. Mules drop automatically. Chrono boost is automatic. It's wow. because they want to make the game easier and because they talked to a bunch of Koreans and the Koreans said that right now no one is even near hitting the skill, like the highest skill level for StarCraft. Yeah. So may as well just lower it because no one's going to hit that. That makes sense. So a while, a while ago um, when we first released Dungeon World, I was on this podcast in... I want to say like Brazil, and it was like me and Sage and a bunch of dudes who only spoke Portuguese talking to each other for like 40 minutes. So there'd be these long extended spans of dudes talking in Portuguese. This is what that feels like for me. I'm just like, I know video games. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, he said Zerg. I recognize that word. Yep. Awesome. I know the word Zerg. Games. Injects oh. are a thing that you would put onto a hatchery so that would give you more larvae so you can create units faster. It's like the macro I, mechanic for that, yeah? I understood all of that. Yeah. Dodger was wearing a Terran shirt just a couple weeks ago. It was. Yep. yep. It's yep. a sick shirt. That was the shirt. I resized that shirt. That was one of the first shirts I ever resized for myself. How nice. Do you, hold on. How I do you resize a time. shirt? This is interesting. You should me. watch my tutorial from like five <laughs> years ago. Do you really have one? And then one? watch your wine glass tutorial on <laughs> Starcraft to Deckles. Resize a shirt dodger. Yep. Was it? Do you have the SEO on that? Swords and stitches. <laughs> Please don't actually look it up. Please don't. Resizing t-shirts. Do it shirt. yourself. I knew that shirt wouldn't fit me, so I never got around to buying it. But yeah, I should actually do that. That's an Octodad t-shirt. You're gonna read. Mm -hmm. All right, I've got I've got seven minutes of footage to watch later for research. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. It's easy. There you go. Uh, didn't we last leave off on the show with like a very important decision that needed to be made? Or I was, oh God. We were talking about whether or not I was going to go in 
to as technology by myself. Yeah, let me <laughs> let me give you let me give you some. We'll hand out the karma first, so you can maybe survive whatever terrible plan you come up with. And then thank we'll, you. We'll go from there. So uh, for embodiment uh, for the last episode, um, it was very close, but uh, Night Sass, you take the point for embodiment. Woo! Nice. You were very very embodied. Good immersion skills. Um, or and then, like stealthing around. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was all the paranoia and the climbing in and out the window and like kind of making friends with Gavin, but not really. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll take um, it. <laughs> and then uh, we have to do the MVP Team Worker Awards. So uh, for MVP, uh, I'm just checking to see which one is on a closer margin because you can't have both breakdown. Uh, breakdown. You get. Uh, God, they're so fucking close. You get a team worker because there's a farther margin there. Congratulations. Way to keep the team together. Nice. Center net. Um, And so, yeah, at a margin of four votes, you're four votes behind. Bon Bon, you take the MVP award. Nice. The last session. Thank you. So I think if I am keeping up on my notes, which I think I am, um, Night's Ass, you have two flashbacks remaining. Uh, Everybody else has one. Um, for those those little five karma boosts. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, at the end of the last session, I think the like the the I was saying this to um, Dodger before. I think that the the shadow run focused thing that you did near the end of the session <laughs> was getting in touch with um, Lupita, uh, which is your target. Uh, it's his sister uh, who wanted to talk in person about his. Um, uh, oh. his, his problems and his business. And I remember everything. Though. Yeah, and so she she was like, yes, just come and meet me at my office, which is on extraterritorial Aztec space in their big, like, ziggurat downtown. Was there a reason that we couldn't call her back and be like, this is actually quite dangerous for us? <laughs> Can you... Uh, I think the thing would be, like, else? you'd have to justify why it's dangerous. Like, you could, but it would definitely raise your suspicions. You'd be like, why can't you just come get a temporary visitor's visa? No problem. But, um, yes, you could You could still call. You could still do that. I think calling back is a fantastic idea. <laughs> I don't think any of us should go in there. I mean, if that's, like, the best option for me to go in there, I will. But I, I feel like I'm going to die there. Yeah, because you'd be going in. Yeah. Like, but, like. I mean, this is assuming a lot on the part of, like, the only thing that you all know about um, as technology and their kind of business with this so far is that they, um, like, Flores worked for them. Uh, you figured out a bunch of stuff about what he was doing for them before. Um, and you wanted to quit, but you can't just quit if you work at as technology. They kind of own you. So he was going to try and get out. He came to Seattle. But, like, as technology, they are kind of just, like, they're, they're behind, they're steps behind you in terms of finding this guy. Uh, right. they, they also have no idea who, <clears throat> who like breakdown is, right? Yeah, like, there's true. no. You're you're doing you're doing better than you usually do at <laughs> staying on the DL for this one. So but, yeah, like as far as you know, they're they're you're you're at least a step ahead of them. But I would be a shaman walking into bloodbender territory. <laughs> I mean, they they have they have. Shamans too, like they're not all like horrifying blood mages. It's just like the special oh, forces. I don't believe that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, fair. Probably a good idea not to believe everything I tell you. But um no, I mean like blood magic is a thing. It's it's definitely like part of their repertoire. But I mean blood magic is just a tool, right? I forget. Can you ever do blood magic and it be for good? No, because you're always killing someone. Like, there's some, like, philosophical well, thing that says, yeah, it could be good, but... You, like, you can technically use your own blood for blood magic, but because it's worse, like, mechanically worse, you, because the you, idea, you wouldn't, right? It, the yeah, idea it is that you're blood. either taking energy from yourself to make the magic, or yeah, like, you're like, taking you know, energy from someone else and then not having to risk drain like yeah, you know how we talked we talked earlier on about like because you were asking me about what's the biggest like spirit you could summon and i was like well you could summon a huge one but it would probably just kill you mm-hmm. the point there is you kill somebody else and use their entire life force to power uh like a powerful ritual or uh summoning a, an insane powerful spirit or whatever right 
so, so they the, still they still have like shamans and and mages the same way all the other corporations employ them, but they're just not opposed to blood magic. And in fact, it's sort of part of their um, their like heritage. And there's some there's some theories that it like erodes your soul or like co- corrupts your essence because you can tell a blood magic user by looking at their aura. But they're like, no, that's just the byproduct of the magic, right? Like, yes, it happens, but that does that comes from all kinds of places. So. Right. It's still up for debate. It depends on who you ask. But what we do, what we do know, just in general, is that a a blood magic user would be able to use more powerful magic easier than I could. Um, so I don't ever want to get yeah, into a generally, fight with them generally unless blood, I have to. Generally, though, blood magic is used for larger scale like human sacrifice isn't just like grab a random person off the street and knife them a bunch (laughs) of times like you actually have to there's a ritual to it so it's not like a blood mage usually just like throws a force 80 fireball at you it's usually more insidious it's used for like tracking and hunting and like like fucking with you on the large scale not like hey you're in our building and we're gonna kill you with mana bolts that you know you couldn't possibly resist I mean, if breakdown totally went as, under the guise of a guest of whoever of of Lupita Flores, like, would there be any reason they would suspect him? Um, no, because well, I mean, I can't, well, I can't tell you, I can't from, tell you that, but aside from racially, right? I mean, they they're kind of whatever about like they're mo- they're mostly humans, but then the whole world is mostly humans, so right. Um. But uh, how, I mean, how about how about this, Adam? Like, is it normal for there to be visitors and foot traffic in this large hell place? Yes. It's huge. Well, yeah, yeah it, huge. I I think they get they get deliveries like, constantly. Like, yeah. I mean, their security will like check, but you have like a real sin. They'll just think you're whoever you actually are instead of your like weird shadow runner persona. Mm-mm. I'm scared. I feel like Adam is working too hard to ease our minds, and it's a trap. <laughs> I mean, every everything that I'm telling you, I'm telling you like as like Adam, not as a biased NPC. And I wouldn't like tell you. I wouldn't be like, no, it's totally safe. I'm telling you this unequivocally, and then be like, yeah, you're fucked. Ha, you believe me? <laughs> or would like, you? That would just, that would just yeah, be me or... lying to you as a person, which would be a shit move. So. <laughs> I what know. was the thing? I, mean, I guess Jen? I guess I get one. I, you trust me until I do it. Yep. So. I remember a swan song dinner that, like, <laughs> I feel like NPCs had nothing to do. But you know, <laughs> this is mere shades. Yeah. What I was get, the thing Jen died to as Jackery? A b- How do you say? Oh, that? oh, out when she just ventured off into the woods. Yeah, she just like went into the woods and she died to. Yeah. Like a dis- she just ventured off into the woods without three of us while we were asleep, and then DM was like, "Yeah, you're gonna fucking die." <laughs> what was the monster? I don't know. How you call it? It was one of the. It's whatever the like, whatever the dog that can blink. They're called blink dogs. Maybe it's just a blink <laughs> dog. <laughs> it's, it's got like a whirlwindy type name, but I always dog think of that, that can now. Blink, blink yeah, always. dog. It sounds like a Disney movie. <laughs> it's probably does. a blink dog. 101 blink dogs. Oh, displacer beast. <laughs> displacer, yes, yeah, displacer, yeah. I always think cats. of that now. Got it. That's a cat. Yeah, displacer beast is like a panther with tentacles. There you go. A blink yeah. cat. I remember the tons of clothes. Yeah. No, they hate blink dogs. They're like natural enemies. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't That's matter. not true. That's not canon. They never go in romantic it is dinner true. dates where they no, blink, eat blink dogs or were, blink dogs. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Jesus, yeah, we hit like a dog. sour note for Adam right there. The blink <laughs> no. dogs and the displacer beast. He's got some real beef. <sighs> yep. He's got some real beef. Uh, anyways, Dodger, you got to go get your character killed. Have you decided? So, uh, I guess, like, do you, I mean, you'd be having this conversation, oh, uh, uh beliefs, instincts, and, uh, and goals. Anybody have new oh, ones that want to change theirs? Gold, Mine are the die. normal <laughs> ones, but I gotta open up my Google Doc. I mean, that's, that's built in. Don't die. Yep, you'll keep working towards that till you don't. Uh, I guess it depends on whether or not, my goal is gonna change if I, if I'm going to as technology or not. Sure. Do you want to put it off until until you made that decision? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's no problem. Uh, anybody else have changes they want to make to their uh, beliefs or instincts? Mine are staying the same. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, nope, mine are all the same too. Okay, Knight's S. Mine are good. Okay, perfect. We good. Well, then um, I assume you're all in um, Bond Bond Down's apartment, uh, sitting around in the living room discussing what to do. Did you did you usher Gavin like out of the apartment, or was he is he no, still he's like still here? Oh. He left, didn't he? I thought I can't he remember left if on he his left. own. Okay. okay. All right. Well, he he went home, I guess, which is like downstairs. I'm pretty sure. Maybe he did just leave. I don't know. That's fine. You could have ushered him out. Serious Shadowrunner business. So. Well, I guess we're. I guess the three of like the scene starts and the three of us are just staring at breakdown and we're like it's it's as quiet as Skype was just now. <laughs> totally. And, like, yeah. Yeah. I, I just, just like break fade up. <laughs> yeah. It just fades up and I'm just like we're all just kind of like. We'll just put our head up every once in a while to see if like Breakdown's about to talk, and we'll just put it back down. <laughs> Breakdown just I'm actually head, still building his hands. You're still what? Oh, you're building the drone. Yeah. Maybe that's what's breaking the silence every once in a while is just tinkering. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Munching okay. on burgers. So, Lupita thinks that she's going to be talking to you, Bon Bon. So, is there a way that I can, if I, if I go in, is there a way that I can? have a video feed between me and you and that way you can still be the one who talks to her because I don't I don't want her to feel like there's anything like weird you know like the only way that's going to happen is if you convince her to go into the matrix with, uh, from the office and I'm not sure if that's <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's the best idea okay so I would also be talking to her about everything. I mean, all we trying to do is find a brother, right? Like, we've got that going for us because she obviously knows something. I'm sure she wants to help a brother. Right. Uh, what was the... What was the reason that I'm the only one who could go again? Is it because I'm the only one with a SIM card? Yes. Because yeah. you have a, an actual identity yeah, but, in the, like the government. Yeah. Right. Maybe like a wrench falls and everyone just kind of like stares at her real quick. Okay, I, I'll do it. I'll do I, it. I'll do I, it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. All right. What if, what if we? What if we hired... A bodyguard to go with you, like a, that be, a, that would be a little a suspicious. I think that's a little. Well, bit I what I'm just trying to make you feel better about this field trip. Do normal know. people like walk around with drones, just following them casually? Not like normal people, but people own drones for reasons. Like delivery man, maybe a drone to. Yeah, maybe like like um, uh, newscasters, um, celebrities, people who are recording um, SimSense use drones to capture what's around them. They're not totally uncommon, but they're pretty rare. There is rare. There is rare as seeing a person on the street wearing like Google Glass. Like it happens very occasionally, but it's not like. If you saw it, you're like cyborg. <laughs> you know, you'd be like, oh, there's a nerd with Google Glass. Cool. You uh, you could be a, you could be a celebrity. You know, you just get nights ass to do your hair. Isn't the point that I don't stand out that I'm just I mean, maybe you're just like a like a D-list celebrity. Maybe you're just a piece of shit celebrity. <laughs> I don't think no. I don't think that's a good idea. I need to just. I need yeah. I need to just walk in like nothing's wrong, and have my appointment with Lupita and ask her about her brother and then leave and it'll be fine right but uh, but what if something goes wrong that's what you gotta think about what do you do when it goes wrong you gotta have an escape plan I, mean, I I've, don't know. I've seen you run <laughs> before you can't run huge building filled uh, with people who are not going to help me. What? Uh, so I don't know. What about your magics? Can you do anything? I mean, 
in a small sense, sure, but I can't affect a lot of people at once. <laughs> I just kind of like stare at you blankly. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'll I'll go. I'll do it. I just. Well, we should we should call him back and let him know that you're going instead of uh, instead of bonbon. Right? I we mean, should... they. she just said, show up here. Right, but we don't I mean, want her to... I mean, we want we want her to know that I am coming on behalf of yeah, you. Yeah, we don't want to put any tricks on her so she doesn't think that we're fucking with her. It's a call. I'll call it. Just give me the number. Yeah. Or sure. I'll actually break, break I down. You number. should break down. You should probably talk to her. Oh, Why? just let me let me talk. Did I talk to her originally? Did I not? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, then let I'll I'll talk to her. Okay. All right. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'll make the call. Okay. So uh, you call back and you get her uh, her PA again, um, and uh, he uh, yeah he just he asks you what what he can do for you. Um, I need to pass a message along to. Um, Lupita Flores, please. Of course. Uh, please tell her. Actually, can I just talk to her? <laughs> I'm sorry, she's actually in a meeting right now. Uh, I can take a message for you. <clears throat> All right. Well, please tell her that uh, I am going to be sending someone down to her office to uh, chat with her. It's not going to be me. Uh, it's going to be one of my associates, and um. His name is Marcelin. <laughs> Marcelin, uh, do you have a last name for me? I, I'll pass it along to customs. It'll make the visa process easier. Oh, fuck. Um, yes, Marcelin. <laughs> like, I like write it down. Uh, Marcelin. <laughs> I'm trying to like catch up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I assume like a bon bon bon. Do you just do you just not know? Oh, no, of course I know, but I yeah. just don't know now. <laughs> Right. Okay. Wait, Marcelin ne uh, Neze Neze Lewis. <laughs> that that the second one is pronounced with N E Z I H. <laughs> Nezi, Nezi right. Lewis. I think right. I've got I think that here. Thank you. It, will you repeat it back to me, please? Just to... uh, so he he spells Marcelin's full name for you, letter by letter. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. All right, so you're you're on the 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 logs there, uh, Marcelin. Uh, they confirm the the time for you, which is three thirty. It's yeah. It was like an afternoon appointment, I think. Yeah. Somebody, Today. somebody in chat <laughs> said the last name <laughs> Leaf Blower Vine Root. <laughs> <Just funny. laughs> I wish that was my last name. Oh, yes, Marcelin Leaf Blower Vine Root. Thank you. <laughs> Good name. Oh my god. Strong name. Oh shoot. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. So uh, yeah, all that's confirmed. You've got uh, the a, a few like hours left in the day um, before that. If there's anything you want to do, or we can just jump straight to that. Was well, there any? Do you uh, do you need anything else for this meeting? What if you had a spirit go with you? What if you had like the sunglass spirit and then you had that on your head the entire time to protect you? A sunglass spirit? Uh, <laughs> I sure. Don't, I don't know this magic <laughs> stuff. I'm just making it up. <laughs> Would a spirit help you at all? I can definitely have a spirit follow me, but then other magic users will be able to see that there's a spirit following me, even if it's imperceptible to a normal person, which might come across like I'm concerned or defensive. What if you're just taking your spirit for a walk? It's not it's nothing. <laughs> they don't do that? You don't let your spirits out? <sighs> I'm just trying to understand this whole magic world. It doesn't make any sense. It would in this situation specifically, walking in with a spirit following me, I believe would seem strange. All right. What if it was high up in the sky? What if you had like a kite spirit? 
Can Adam can um can people like would I be able to tell if a spirit is connected to a specific person? Uh, you would have to, um, like, not at a glance, right? Like, you'd have to examine them. Like, if you if you saw, like, a mage go by in a bus or something with a spirit following them, you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell, but if they had a minute to, like, look at you and look at the spirit, then someone with training and astral, uh, or in, like, a sensing would be able to tell. Okay. Yeah, because your, your, your essence is tied to the uh, to the spirit. Okay. I would also assume that there are going to be magic barriers around this place. So magic defenses certainly. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I I don't think that's going to work. As much as I want it to work, I don't think that that's going to work. Um I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm not the I'm not the idea guy. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, we'll I'll go over there with you in a van. I just won't go in. I'll drop well, you, you can't off. Even, you can't even get across the border, right? Right. That's where I will not go on. But I'll be waiting for you when you <laughs> come out. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So do you do you feel uh, breakdown adequately like prepared with like a your backstory here like I don't want you to go in and then realize you didn't have a conversation about like what you're supposed to be asking like yeah I was also wondering that um not only what I should be asking her but also if I am questioned about what I'm doing there like mm -hmm. what's what's my story what do I what do I say. Um, we could, uh, we, we sort of had that underlying, we were doing research for, uh, for Javier Flores in a general sense that seemed to work. That's not going to work with Lupita, obviously. It's also not going to work if I'm being asked more specifics, trying to be caught in a lie. We need to know what we were actually doing. What yeah, were we Lupita, actually researching? Remember, yeah, remember Lupita Flores is a lawyer, <laughs> so. Fucked. But didn't so we fucked. already? <laughs> didn't we already tell Lupita Flores? Like I came clean with her. Did I not? Or um, was that Rebecca? I think that was. Sorry, go ahead. She doesn't know that we're shadow runners, obviously, but she did question why we were calling and I don't remember how that call I think went I, in that I, sense I think I was still doing the research thing and then we mentioned Rebecca and the research and she was like we have to I have to talk to you in person alright okay so I I think I think that they know that there's something I think that Lupita knows there's something like going on like you may not have used the word like Shadowrunner but like I think she was like kind of like guarded and suspicious um, but she knows that you're like looking for him for some like other purpose right something like that yeah okay so as far as Lupita's concerned when talking to her we're We've can I say that we've been hired to look for him and just leave it at that? Is that okay? I think so. Okay. We've been hired to look for him. We know that he was in trouble and came to Seattle. We were supposed to pick him up. Or no, we weren't supposed to pick him up. We were called in once he went missing. We could always just tell her that Rebecca Alvarez is the one who... Although, oh, really? I'm old friends with Rebecca. Let me give her a call right now. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to sneak around mom and dad and figuring out all the. Um, <laughs> yeah. Tell her you're going to Rebecca's house for a sleepover. <laughs> and I'll tell. <laughs> I'll tell Rebecca. <laughs> um, Who is Rebecca Alvarez again? Fuck, I'm trying to remember. Is a uh, research partner. She's the uh, entomologist. That's right. That's right. That's right. 
but she's the one who also told us about Lupita in the first place. Yes. Right. Because you're like, I'm trying to get hold of him. And she's like, did you check with his sister? And you're like, he has a sister? And then you make a phone call. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I think we should just say, yeah, that we're working on behalf of researchers. And obviously, Javier was involved in some research. And we're just trying to help them get research back. Okay. And then stick with the research story. We're doing research... We're trying to find the person to deliver oh, you mean research with everybody to. Else? Yeah, okay. and if they ask you what research, say, "I'm afraid you're." It's classified. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that works. I'm afraid I can't talk. You're about under. It. You're under, under, under. Heavy NDA. NDA. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, I can't talk about it. Yeah. No. Practice your lines. That's good. <laughs> Work them out. Cool. Uh, okay. I think, I think you're good to go, Mr. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> really didn't want any of you to know my last name. No, it'll help. Fine. It'll help. It, it it's a it's good. <sighs> okay. Sure. Okay. All right. So We'll diagonal way to the outside of the Az Technology Pyramid. Oh god, it's so or fast! Or first, we can we swipe to, to me getting like mechanical workings leveled up for free. Okay. Machines? Uh, it's, not, it's not for free. You gotta pay karma for that. Alright, I'll pay a karma. It makes sense, though. <laughs> okay. It makes sense. So you want uh, build repair electronics? Sure. Okay, that's the stuff you'd use to fix or make drones. Do I need machines for that? Um, what's the, let me look at the skill list. Let me see what the deal is. Because, yeah, there might actually be a separate one. It's the skill map. Um. Yeah, because you're not actually piloting the vehicle. So, you want the skill to build and repair it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's just, um, uh... I guess in this case, aircraft build repair. So because of the way the skills work, you could apply the same knowledge to fixing an airplane if you need to. Or a chopper. Yeah, That's what you're chopper. saying. Oh, yeah. A definitely. combat chopper. Yes. If you ever need to quickly repair a combat chopper, you now have one die. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> nice. Oh, cool. God. Cool. Okay. Um, you can specialize it further into <clears throat> like winged or rotor or whatever, but yeah, that's the base, the base skill is aircraft build repair. Cool. Look at you branching out, going to night school, hanging out with dwarves. Um, so the as technology pyramid, the actual, uh, like pyramid itself is like huge. It's, you know, several city blocks, uh, across, uh, and, um, very tall, and I'm not going to be specific because I don't know how tall it is, and people are going to be like, that's not how tall a building would be, Adam. Um, but it, it's basically an arcology that takes up those blocks in the shape of this black steel and glass uh, ziggurat, big stepped pyramid. Um, there's entrances along all of the, the various uh, sides on, on all the streets, and um, Lupita's office, the closest entrance is on, say, like the north side. So you have like a specific entrance that you can you can get to. The AS Technology Pyramid contains all the things that an AS Technology employee would need to live and work uh, in the city of Seattle without ever having to actually be in the city. So, you know, there's like grocery stores and restaurants and movie theaters and offices and like basically everything you could you could imagine in a city, but in this major like Arco block where all these people live. Um, in there, uh, it is a separate country. So you're under as technology, you're following as technology law versus UCAS law. Um, but that's fine because you're already a foreigner anyway, right? Your sin is not for the UCAS. It's for uh, Tier Tanger. So. Right. Uh, where is everybody else? Uh, while this is happening, uh, while wait, super quick. Break down on super. Yeah, sure. Um, my goal is to leave as technology without getting attention, without okay. like having attention drawn to me. Okay. okay. And I'd also like to, this. sorry, I'd also like to double check the names. <laughs> yeah. Lupita Flores, Rebecca Alvarez, and Javier Flores. 
right? Correct. Those are the three like main names I need. Those are the names of three NPCs in this particular mission. God damn it, Adam. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm going to be waiting outside the border lines, like okay. I said I would be. Sure, yeah. sure. Um, there's a lot of businesses around here that are like... Um, uh, like bail bonds for as like and then like lawyers like cheap lawyers that are like we know everything about Aztec law and um, like duty free shops and stuff uh, like the same way you would you would get around the like American border with another country with like Mexico or Canada there's just like shops specified for this stuff um, and you can find like a uh, like a diner or a restaurant or something to hang out in and wait if you want what about a cyber oh yeah. What about a cyber? Yeah, like an internet cafe type yeah. of thing. I knew what you were saying. It's cyber fine. cafe. I, my brain stopped. I was like, Adam knows. Yeah, it's 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 fine. What about a cyber? What about a cyber, Adam? Uh -huh. um, <laughs> I'll I'll maybe I'll I'll go in there. Okay, cool. So we can't see anything that Breakdown is doing. We didn't outfit him with like an eyepiece or anything. No, no, he probably right. wouldn't be able to wear it anyway. So I like can't do anything at all i mean breakdown could find a payphone and call you it'd be long distance though oh damn i don't know if that's worth it <laughs> you're receiving a collect call don't from do collect exactly across the street do you accept <laughs> mm, <click. laughs> okay uh so like i said there's lots of traffic going in and out uh are you just going in on on foot or are you taking a cab inside to one of the like ingest terminals or because they have they have like buses that will pick people up and take them there and you know like they'll process all the all the sins together of the people on the bus and then there's lots of pedestrian entrances so you can get in one of a couple of ways silently evidently <laughs> I'll just walk in <laughs> right. so you um, you go and you get in line um, and you, you know there is a wait but it's not a huge wait um, there's, there's basically like two separate lines. There's a line for, uh, Azatlan citizens and there's a line for visitors. Um, there's a separate room where you'll notice every once in a while, someone who walks up to the terminal has their sin scan. They're like taken off into a side room. Um, and, uh, so you're just kind of like waiting, going through the line. There's signs above you, big, like glowing signs that tell you about all the things you're not allowed to bring in to, to Aslan territory without special permits. So like you can't bring weapons. Um, there's a long list of like magical paraphernalia that are, are forbidden um, or a contraband or whatever. Um, and when you get up to the, to the desk, there's a, a couple of security officers. Um, there's a, um, like a woman in, in kind of like a generally sort of military looking suit. Um, and then there's somebody else uh, dressed the same way. There's the two of them are standing there. One of them is obviously processing people. And the other guy is just kind of like looking at people and making notes on a data slate, like on a pad. Um, and so you walk up and the, the person uh, at the desk first says in, in, says something to you in Spanish. And then what do you, what do you do? Um, I'm sorry, can you repeat that in, what's the common language? English. English, please. Yeah. I mean, it would be reasonable <laughs> if you asked them to repeat it in Japanese, too, but, uh, yeah, no, he, he um, he's like, yes, yeah, or uh, she, I guess the woman is the one talking, she's like, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, what is the purpose of your visit? I have an appointment with Lupita Flores. So she you know, types away at her keyboard, um, and, uh, and then she's like, uh, same, please. And gestures to there's like a slot in the uh, oh. in the desk. <laughs> Just put it in. Okay, and it reads, and there's something on her computer screen comes up. She types it in her keyboard a little bit, um, and uh, she uh, she says, um, "And uh, how long will you be here?" Oh, I don't think very long. Maybe half an hour. Type some more stuff. Your sin pops back out of the slot. And hands it to you. Um, and uh, says, uh, is breakdown sweating nervously? <laughs> or, like what is? I mean, the... I already sweat nervously always. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so he uh, he just says, uh, or she says, yes, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, have a good. And have you a good catch, day. yeah, you catch as you walk by, you 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 like turn your head and as you're walking by the um the the guy that was watching just like puts his hand up to his ear and like says something quietly in Spanish and then puts his hand down and then turns to look at the next person. 
Okay. I just try to shake it off. <laughs> okay. Start walking. Okay. So you walk in, and immediately there's a big, um, there's a big video screen uh, showing alternately like ads for various products, and then a um, like in the middle like a map of the of the Az Technology Pyramid. There's a monorail system that runs all the way around the outside and through parts of the the main floor, the like uh, transportation floor, and it highlights all the different elevators that lead up into the higher levels. Um, and you you think you can probably figure out your way around like transit, but all the signs are in Spanish, and like you're not really sure. 100% where to go, but you think you remember the office you were supposed to go to, so... Okay, are you going to make me roll for it? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make you roll an intelligence <laughs> test just to get there on time. Yeah, oh no. We'll say target number... It's in a language you don't understand. Uh, target number six. You just need one success to get there on time. Can I use any of my tools? <laughs> Probably not, right? No. <laughs> no, no. I need a six. Can I just ask somebody? <laughs> if you want to. Okay. Is there is there somebody else looking at the map? Uh, yeah. There's lots of people just like around. Is there anybody um, that you looks notice, nice? So you you notice everyone like like the there's a, most of the people here are um, uh, like so formerly South America. They're all Azatlan. Uh, citizens they appear to be um, and um, there's a there are armed guards around but they're not wearing like body armor they're just wearing like green fatigues with like red berets um, they have guns but they're holstered um, you see lots of them around but you don't see any like official like greeters or anything it's not right. like it's not like an air, like any airport staff you could just ask uh, okay but is there is there just like somebody around me who looks nice? <laughs> Um, how much karma do you have right now? Two. Only have two, huh? Okay, roll two. Roll two dice. I, I blew it all. Yeah, just roll two dice. If you can get a success, someone nice is around. Okay, good work. Yay! Yes. Somebody nice. <laughs> Yay! Um, so you're 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 like staring into the screen, like bathed in the the white glow of the of the map screen, and um. Yeah, uh, uh, a woman, like a young woman, uh, standing nearby, kind of like leans over and looks at you, and she's like, "Do you look lost?" I am so confused. <laughs> Could you she, possibly help me figure out where I'm supposed to go? I'm so sorry. I just don't want to be late. She, she nods. She's like, um, she comes over to you, and she's she's just wearing like jeans and like a a t-shirt, um, and she's got a, like a backpack over one shoulder. Um, and, uh, like long black hair that's like tied into a, a braid. And she, um, she's like, uh, I know when I moved up here from Azalan, I was lost for days. The university is not where they say it is. Where are you trying to go? <laughs> um, what, what is the, what is the department that she works in? Legal. Legal. Um, I'm trying to get to the legal department. I have a meeting with, uh, um, Lupita Flores. I don't know if... Oh, God, she, she like can't. she she kind of like shakes her head and she's like I don't know who Lupita Flores is but if you're in trouble with legal, whew, I do not envy you. Um, <laughs> it's a bit complicated and she like points at the map and and she's like um, there's two departments there's internal and external legal. Uh, do you know which one you need? Are, 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 are you are you a citizen or f from somewhere else? I'm from somewhere else. Okay, so external and she like points at the map. Um, and she's like, you should be able to take tram B to elevator six. And there's a bit of a walk upstairs, but if you cut through the atrium and she like shows you a route, uh, and then she's like, I think that's probably the best way. They've been talking about automating this situation, but you know how slow these things are. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. I, I really, really appreciate it. Mm, of course. Um, so out of character. Sure. Uh, just because I'm not a citizen doesn't necessarily mean that I should be going to external, right? Do I actually know which one I need? Um, no, but it sounds like the right place. Like, after she describes okay. the directions, yeah, you're probably not right. going. Like, ah, oh, that's, a, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, I, f I follow her instructions. Okay. All right. Aztec, so take the wheel. So you, you head off 
uh, for the for the tram for like the monorail, and it, it takes like a transfer, like you go in and then take another transfer out, and you take an <laughs> elevator and, and cross Sorry. the floor. Um, but eventually, yeah, you get to you get to the the area, the like legal uh, floor, um, and it's super nice. Like you walk out of the elevator into this like um, this like just beautiful like black marble. Um, room with like big pillars that are carved to look like Quetzalcoatls and stuff and there's a big stone desk at the far end uh, and there's like four people four like men and women like on phones and like typing away and taking um, reports and there's a, a big uh, like as technology logo above the above the desk and underneath it says like legal department sorry Adam what do they look like what does who look like the stone Oh, Quetzalcoatl, it's like a, a South American magic bird. It's a mythological creature. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. cool. Yep, yep. Um, cool. I walk up to the front desk and wait patiently for somebody to be able to help me. Okay. Um, well, when you walk up, the there's a, a guy there, and he, he's got the phone like on his shoulder, and he, he hits a button, and he holds the phone down, and he's like, for Lupita Flores? Marcelin? Uh, Yes, yes. He gestures to um, like a, a leather couch nearby and he's like, can I get you something? Coffee? Water? Oh, I'm fine. No, thank you. All right. And then he like gets back on the computer, finishes his phone call. I go sit. Okay. Um, and uh, after uh, a few minutes, like you're not waiting, you're not being forced to wait for very long. Um, the uh, One of the sets of double doors that leads out of the, um, out of the lobby opens and uh, a woman... Uh, in her kind of like late 30s, uh, wearing a very expensive looking uh, dark blue um, like suit, uh, walks out. Uh, and she looks at you, and while she doesn't recognize you, she like, you know, it's, it's Lupita Flores. Like, she just gives this right. look of like, okay, yep. Um, and she, uh, she says, um, Marcelin? Hi. Yes, hi. I stand up and shake her hand. It's lovely okay. to meet you. Um, if you'll come this way. Okay. All right. So she, the two of you walk into the hallway to her, uh, to her office and maybe, I don't know, maybe this is a good place to take a break with the like big doors closing behind you as you wander down the office. Works for me. All right. We'll I take haven't her. died yet. You haven't Not died yet. yet. <laughs> still got three hours left to go. <laughs> See if you die. Uh, we'll take our first break here. Still three hours left to go. Don't go anywhere. More Mary Shades coming up after this. We'll see you guys then.